This is getting ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Do we really think that a billionaire's child is taking student loans? Come on. No person should have to go into debt, crushing debt, in order to get an education. La congresista demócrata Ocasio Cortez solicitó a la administración Biden la cancelación de la deuda por préstamos estudiantiles que afecta a millones de ciudadanos estadounidenses. This is getting ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I am 32 years old. I was told I'm a first generation uh, college graduate on my mom's side. And growing up, I was told since I was a child, your destiny is to go to college. That's what's going to lift our family up and out. That is our future. That's what we're here to accomplish. 17 years old, when college recruiters started coming to my high school saying, this is worth it. And we still do that today because it's teenagers signing up for what is often hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt. And we just do that. And our government allows that. We give 17 year olds the ability to sign on and sign up for $100,000 worth of debt. And we think that's responsible policy. 30, I'm 32 years old now. I have over $17,000 in student loan debt. And I didn't go to graduate school because I knew that getting another degree would drown me in debt that I would never be able to surpass. This is unacceptable. Not only that, 65% of all jobs in this country require an education beyond high school. First generation college students are two times as likely to report being behind on student loan payments. And 63% of borrowers who made payments with Navient uh, during the COVID forbearance still owe more now than they originally borrowed. There are hundreds of thousands of people in this country who owe more on their student loans now than they did when they first took them out. We as a country are profiting off of insurmountable and crushing educational debt, and it is wrong. It is absolutely wrong. Four years after graduation, 48% of black students owe an average of 12.5% more than they originally borrowed. But this isn't just an issue of a, of a debt crisis. This is an educational crisis in the United States of America. If we want to remain competitive, if we want to remain innovative, and if we need the technological investments necessary to address things like climate change, we need an educated country. The United States is, dis, has a policy of actively disincentivizing higher education. We disincentivize people from, from getting a college or secondary education beyond high school. That is backwards. And the least we can do, in a mor we have a moral obligation, an economic obligation, a political obligation to cancel student loan debt in the United States of America. We've seen the benefits that this, has had, that this has had during the forbearance alone. It has given people the breathing room to do what they need to do. And so that we can stop writing these ridiculous articles that young people are killing diamond rings and they're not buying houses and they're killing this industry or that, that we're not having children. It's because we're being crushed by immoral debt. No person should have to go into debt, crushing debt in order to get an education. It's wrong. It's backwards and it doesn't help us as a country. So I'm greatly looking forward to that. I'm greatly looking forward to the Biden administration uh, canceling student loan debt and no longer advancing the false narratives that student loan debt is for the privileged. What a ridiculous assertion. Do we really think that a billionaire's child is taking student loans? Come on, come on. If you are taking on student loan 
student debt, it's because you are likely a working or middle class person. So let's get real, let's cancel it. It's in the interest of the people, it's in the interest of this country, it's in the interest of our future. La cancelación de la deuda por préstamos estudiantiles es una de las propuestas que despiertan mayor interés entre la población joven, quienes al salir de la universidad aún no poseen un empleo, pero ya están completamente endeudados. Soy Brenda Arguedas y esto es Notibomba.